everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's get right into today's video so for today's video i'm going to be unboxing the cutest nail art subscription box which is the charm box by daily charm i have been receiving these from daily charm ever since they first launched their charm box and i have absolutely loved every single month that they have released there are so many cute products in here and i just want to share a little bit about the charm box in case this is your first time hearing about it or the first time watching a video on it so the Charm Box, it is, of course, a nail art subscription box by the brand Daily Charm. You guys also know that my top favorite nail brand is Daily Charm. They have so many amazing products from charm gels to nail art to nail organization. So many items available. I do usually post hauls every month from products that I pick out on their website, introducing new products. So you guys know it. I love Daily Charm. Another thing about these charm boxes, they are a bi-monthly subscription box. So not every month, but every other month, they will have a charm box. So for example, this charm box here is the March charm box of the year 2024. And because these are bi-monthly, the next charm box that will launch is the May charm box. So this isn't a month-to-month -month subscription box. It is only bi-monthly. You get so many products and I believe that you get like 15 plus or at least 15 full-size products every single month. This is a subscription you can sign up and also um, it is $49 um, bi-monthly again. So that also, I'm pretty sure with the subscription, you will get free shipping. If you haven't signed up for the subscription and you want this box, I'm going to be unboxing and showing everything that's included in this month's box. But they also do sometimes have um, extra boxes available. Those boxes are $50, $59. And for that box, it isn't a subscription. So I will have both linked down below in the description box. I hope that makes sense. But for the charm box, you can sign up for the subscription and get one bi-monthly. And that price would be $49. So you do save $10. And then if you don't sign up for the subscription, but you kind of wait around and see if there's going to be an extra box, you can also do that and pay $59. So I did check before filming this video, there are currently spots available to sign up for the subscription. And then there also are a few extra March charm boxes. So that, like I said, before filming this video, I did check. I don't know how long those are going to stay open for. Usually those spots do... Um, get taken out pretty quick. The extra boxes sell out fast, but all of that will be down below in the description box in case you guys want to check that out. I also do have other charm box unboxings, so if you're still a little unsure if you want to sign up for the subscription, you can definitely check out those other videos where I unboxed previous charm boxes. Like I said, every single month you get so many goodies in these boxes. Um, sometimes you get the charm gels, you also get some bonus items, and then you also get a bunch of nail decorations. I 100% recommend this box. You can also sometimes purchase the items in this box individually on the website, but most of the times the items in the charm box, the people who have the subscription will get to try out the products before the actual before they actually release and go onto the website. So if you haven't signed up for the subscription, I recommend it. You get so many goodies. And you can also use my discount code nailed by brandy on the subscription for your first time purchase. You can also use that code for any other items available on the Daily Charm website. And of course, I do also have an affiliate link. Generally, Daily Charm has really good sales going on, so you can use um, my affiliate link to shop if they are having a greater discount. So now let's go ahead and take a look at all of the goodies that are included in this month's box. I do wanna give a quick spoiler alert because I am going to be showing everything that's included in here and if you haven't yet unboxed yours or if you're waiting for yours and you do want everything to be a surprise, go ahead and click off the video and then watch it, come back and watch it after you have been surprised with your own box. So I always love these charm boxes, number one, because all of the fun products inside, but also I just think everything is packaged so cutely. I mean, we have this purple and pink like um, 
packaging paper in here and I think that is so adorable. It just really fits the theme of the box. This month's box theme is also spring. Another reason why these boxes are so fun is because we get this very cute insert card. I've actually saved all of the insert cards from the previous boxes just because I think they are so nicely done. You also get a list of everything that's included and then it also shares like sometimes like this is limited to the box. This is new and then it will say the release date and then it also shows the prices of everything and what everything is and then it also down here it has bonus so you get some bonus items like I mentioned and on the front side of the insert card it does give you some really nice inspiration on different nail like looks that you can create using items from the box but now let's go ahead and actually take a look at all of the goodies this box is definitely packed full we do have a lot of items in here the first item included are some charms and these are some very pretty purple pink and white flowers these are so pretty and I don't have any flower charms like this and I also like how they are in a gold setting the next item included are these little um, butterfly studs these are so pretty they are very thin too almost just like a sequin so you can bend them and this has just a good mix of different butterflies in here the next item are these little bubbles or iridescent water droplets these are so pretty and kind of remind me of like a kawaii type of vibe but these I love like the pastel colors and the iridescent look to them the next item are these two little like heart and bow charms these are very pretty and I love the sparkle like of the center like crystal on the center of these and it also is really cute that it's a heart and then it has a bow that's very pretty the next item is this floral foil paper and this one is so pretty I don't want to open it up just because it's kind of hard to get back into the packaging but it has some like pink roses and then some greenery on it and I think this foil is very beautiful all of these items so far are so perfect for spring these just the items included in here it's definitely thought thought through and everything picked out is very nicely picked out and has a really good theme to it. The next item included is this little cat eye magnet. So we have this flower end and then there's also like um, almost like a stripe I would say like you could create like a stripe with this end this flower end is going to be so perfect to use with cat eye gel polish to get like a flower design the next item are some sticker sheets you guys know I love my stickers these ones here are very pretty I love butterflies and these butterfly stickers I love like the iridescent shine to them it also also almost looks like like a stained glass or something just the way the iridescent reflect is in the butterflies so pretty also gorgeous colors love the pastels and then there's also some other stickers on this sticker sheet that would make like a really nice nail set using the butterflies and then with the other simplistic designs the next sticker sheet we have some more butterflies I love butterflies you guys know that but there's some butterflies and hearts and flowers and these are so pretty because they have a very pretty pastel ombre some of the butterflies are purple and pink and then there's also some that are pink and orange and blue very pretty and unique sticker sheet the next item is this four pointed star sticker sheet with just a bunch of fun colorful stars I also love how these are different sizes there's some larger and medium and smaller ones the next item are some more foils so just like that floral um, foil sheet that I showed you guys we also have this little box of different foils and in here these foils are more like the metallic type of foils with these ones there's a lot of different ways that you can use these specific foils you can use it on an entire nail but you can also like kind of press it into the nail and use a couple of different colors to create a very fun design and these are just so pretty they have like a reflective and I think these would look really good matte the next item are some twinkle twinkle sparkling glass rhinestones they do have other ones ones of these I really love their sparkling glass rhinestones but these ones are colorful and they're also heart-shaped 
so cute. There's a bunch of different colors in here. Again, that iridescent reflect, which I absolutely love. And then the hearts, there are smaller ones and then also larger hearts in here. All of these colors and this reflect, it's so pretty. I cannot wait to use these. The next item are these very popular and trendy flower charms. Let me tell you guys, once spring hits, I love using these. These flower charms can really just be added to any length of nail, any nail set, and just make it look so much prettier. So we do have a light pink, white, and a darker pink. And then also the little beads that are included. We have gold and silver. So if your nail set's more focused on silver, you can use the silver or vice versa. If it's more gold, you can use the gold ones, which is really nice. The next item is this little glitter and it kind of spilled out a little bit, but I think it's just cause it was so full. But I want to open this up so I can show it to you guys, even though this is kind of be gonna be a glitter mess here. But here is this glitter. This one's so pretty. It's just some round glitters. And we have different colors. It looks to be like an orange, green, um, pink, maybe purple. I can't I can't really tell for sure, but it is a really pretty glitter. We also have some more glitters. This first glitter here is actually a little bit more of like a sequin glitter mix and it can be used to create these very pretty flowers. In here there's like the flower top and then the stem and the leaves. Also over here I'm pretty sure that they use the same mix to almost create like an egg. Like it, an egg is hatching for Easter so I think that's really cute. But that is what is in here so it's like the little sequins and you can use the little stem pieces or the flowers. This glitter Glitter. I'm pretty sure this is actually one of their new released glitters. I picked them up. I do have a daily charm haul coming very soon, but this one is so pretty. I love this color. So gorgeous. Just screams. This color screams spring to me, but it's a very pretty like pink with iridescent blue and purple. And there's some larger glitter and finer glitter in here. The next item are some little paper flowers. I'll go ahead and open this up so you guys can get a better look at it. But these are some little paper sequins and you can use these to encapsulate on your nails. These are very pretty. I'm not a huge fan of the paper sequins just because I don't really know the proper way how to use them, but they are still very pretty. The next item is definitely a bonus item included in this box and it's just a very pretty ombre case. And inside, this is actually a manicure case. So we have a bunch of goodies in here. We have a pair of scissors, some clippers, a pair of tweezers, and then like a cuticle pusher, that type of thing. This is perfect for if you're going to travel, you can throw this in your backpack, your suitcase, your purse. Um, I also really love the color. Teal is one of my favorite colors and just the ombre effect. This is so nice. You can also use this just on a day-to-day, -day, like when you're doing your nails, it does come with some really good tools in here. And finally, the last two items included in this box are two charm gels. So we have a shimmer jelly and a cat eye. Both of these are 15 ml. So here is just a quick overview of everything that is included in this month's charm box. Again, this is the March charm box and it does have a spring theme to it. All of these items I absolutely love and cannot wait to use them. As you guys know, in these videos, I do also do a nail look using the items included in the box. And I also do try to do each nail different just to also give you guys some inspiration and also try my best to use as many products included in the box. I feel like that way it kind of gives you guys a look of all of the different ways that everything can be used. And it also kind of gives me a challenge of trying to see how many different items I can pull off and use and incorporate into one nail set. So again, like I mentioned, I will have this box linked down below in the description box if it is still available. And then I will also have the sign up information if you do wanna sign up for the subscription box for the next upcoming May charm box. 
So before I begin with the nails, I did quickly want to show the gel polish swatches. So this is the purple cat eye and then this is the shimmer jelly. These colors are both very beautiful and I'm going to try to incorporate both of these colors into today's nail set. Now I don't really know how that's going to turn out because this is a cat eye and this is a shimmer jelly, but I'm going to try it and if anything, I will just have five nails and not a very cohesive nail set. But either way, I'm very excited. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my nails off camera and kind of come up with a game plan. And then we'll come back and start using these products and doing a very fun spring nail set. So like I said, I went off camera and I applied my nail tips. These are just full cover nail tips. I have my peel off base coat on. I went in, applied the nails using a glue gel, and then I also went went in with the filing and buffing. So I'm now ready to start with all of the fun designs. I'm going to, of course, start off with my gel polish application. So like I mentioned, I am gonna be using both the pink and the purple gel. And I'm just gonna start off with the pink gel at first. So I'm gonna use the pink on my index and pinky. I haven't yet decided what I'm gonna do with my thumb. I think I'm gonna do these four fingers and then I'll decide what's going on with my thumbnail. So I'm gonna go in with this Pinkie Pie gel and do two coats of this gel on both the index and my pinky, curing for 30 seconds in between each coat. And I just have to say, I love this gel so much. I really hope that Daily Charm is in the works of releasing more shimmer jelly gel polishes because I just love how this is a jelly color. You can build it up. You can go in with a super light coat of it. And I also love the like glitters that are in it. I just think this gel is so perfect. I am now going to go in with the purple cat eye gel polish and I'm going to be using this on my middle and ring finger. For the first coat of this gel, I'm going to be using the Ninja Star Long Rectangle Magnet to demagnetize the gel and I'm going to do that on both of the nails before I cure for 30 seconds. Thank you. 
so pretty much this is the base for all of my nails. I'm now going to start with the cat eye nails just because I need to get the cat eye effect on those nails. So using that same purple cat eye gel polish, I'm going to go in with another layer of this on the middle finger. And before curing this, I'm going to use the Ninja Star Cylinder Magnet to bring out the glitter in the gel polish. And I'm just going to do this on the sides of the nails just so I can really bring out the glitter in the cat eye polish. And I'm also going to take the flower magnet and try to get some flowers on this nail just by holding this magnet over top of the nail. And I'm now going to cure this for 30 seconds. And here is how that nail turned out. So pretty. This flower magnet is so easy to use. And just look at those flowers. Super cute. This nail is pretty much finished. I'm not completely finished with it yet. Just because I am going to add on like a little gem on the center of the flowers. Just to make them look a little bit more like a flower. But I am so happy with how this nail turned out. I am now going to move on to my ring finger and for this nail I'm just again going to go in with a layer of the cat eye gel polish and instead of using the flower magnet I'm just going to use that cylinder magnet to be able to bring out the sparkle and all of the glitters in the cat eye polish and then I will cure for 30 seconds. So far the nails are looking so pretty and I actually really like this cat eye gel polish with the shimmery jelly color. I think the pink and the purple really complement each other and with this flower cat eye design I think this set is turning out so cute. So now coming back to the index finger I am going to be using a nail foil. So using my favorite foil transfer gel, which is from Daily Charm, I'm going to go in with a layer of this to the entire nail and cure that for 30 seconds. I have decided that I want to use this floral foil paper so I'm just going to take my scissors and cut a piece of this off and then I will press it down on the nail to transfer the image. And look at that, such a beautiful clean transfer. That also looks so nice over that like pink jelly background. I think that is so beautiful. And you can see here, I, it wasn't the cleanest transfer, but there is just a very small piece here. Overall, that is a really nice transfer and I am super happy with that. I'm now going to take a lint-free wipe with some rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to wipe off the ring finger and the pinky. For my ring finger, I have decided that I want to use these stickers. It was so hard for me to decide between these ones and the other butterfly ones, but I just love these so much that iridescent reflect in these ones are so 
so pretty. So I'm just going to apply these to the ring finger. I'll probably just add on a few, maybe like three or four butterflies. And here is that nail after I have the butterfly stickers on. I think that looks so cute. It's like so simple but yet very pretty. I love the way that looks. Now for my pinky, I really want to use this glitter. So I think I'm going to either add on just a little bit of this glitter like in some areas or maybe do an ombre. So I'm going to take the No Wipe Diamond Shine Gel Top Coat and I'm going to apply that to the entire nail. And now I'm going to take the glitter and I think I decided that I just want to add on a little bit of glitter just like in different areas on the nail. So I'm going to take this brush here and kind of just apply some in different areas into that uncured top coat. now going to cure that for 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and apply the top coat to the other nails now and cure that for 30 seconds. Now that my top coat is all cured, I'm now ready to add on any rhinestones or charms. So taking my stay put jelly and these little bubbles or whatever you want to call these, this is what I'm going to use to put in the center of the flowers. So I'm just going to put some stay put jelly in the center of each flower. I'll place on the little bubble and then I will cure this for 30 seconds. For my ring finger, I'm also just going to use that same stay put jelly and I've also decided in between some of the butterflies, I'm going to use one of these little heart rhinestones. And for my pinky, I'm going to be using these flower charms. For the flower charms, I'm also going to go in with the little silver beads. For my thumbnail, I decided just to do another flower cat eye nail. So I went ahead and did that off camera. And this is the finished nail set. So I'm now going to take my Daily Charm cuticle oil. I'm going to apply that to my cuticles, rub that in to nourish them, and of course, like I always say, top off the nail set. 
And here is the finished look. I absolutely love how these nails turned out. I was a little bit scared at the beginning because I wasn't sure how the purple cat eye would look with the shimmer like jelly color, but I am so happy with how these turned out. Even though I didn't do a different like nail for all five, I'm still happy that I did four nails different and still came out with a very cohesive nail set. And this was a very easy nail set to do, especially because I was using beginner friendly products such as cat eye magnets, stickers, charms, foils, glitter. Super easy nail set and I had so much fun doing it. To tell you guys the truth, I cannot pick a favorite nail because I think they all just look so pretty. But let me know down below in the comment section, number one, if you guys got the March Charm Box and also your favorite nail. Um, I really can't decide. I love them all so much. It's so hard to pick a favorite. I will be leaving all of these products linked down below in the description box, like the charm box, and then I will also be trying my best to find any of these products that can be purchased individually. I will be trying to link those down below along with my discount code and my affiliate link. But here is just the finishing look of these nails. I cannot get over how cute these are. The perfect spring nail set. I love them. So many goodies were included in this month's box along with a cat eye gel and a cat eye magnet and so many other items were included as well. But I had so much fun creating this nail set. I hope that you all did enjoy today's video. Check the description box. Like I said, the products will be linked down there. But as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all next time.